Good morning from LA. It is fucking early in the morning. I've been awake since about 4 a.m. Um, to be fair, I stayed up until 9 p.m. last night, so I did really well. So I've had like seven hours sleep, so I don't feel too bad. I mean, I'm saying that now at like, what, half five in the morning. Um, what am I doing today? There's no kettle in this room, but apparently there's a hot water slash tea and coffee station in the lobby. So I'm gonna go there and get my morning tea fix because why would you not have a kettle in this room? So I'm gonna go get my tea, I'm gonna come back to the room, quickly edit something on YouTube, and then I'm going to go out and explore before my day starts. So I'm working today, I have to be some of the 9 a.m. I'll fill you guys in later once I'm done. And last night when I arrived, I arrived at about 5 p.m. I managed to check in. So mine and Henry's best friends recently moved to Santa Monica like a month ago. They actually moved back to the States two years ago. We met them during lockdown in London because their dog is best friends with Rhubarb. And yeah, you know, within 10 minutes of me checking in, Melly is her name. Melly had turned up to pick me up. We went to Air One for smoothies, we had a walk around, and then we went to G Jelena's, J Jelena's, whatever, I'll put it in the description. We went there for pizza and wine, and that kept me awake until about half eight. So, so yeah, I think I'll go for a little stroll. I'll see what I can do, what I can get. And hopefully I can pick up a smoothie from somewhere. I also plan on smuggling so much stuff back with me to the country. When I was in Air One yesterday, it was just, Shelves, shelves of the LA dream. There are supplements I've never even heard of. Part of me is very LA. I mean, I reckon I could live here if it wasn't for the people, no offense if you were an Angelino, but I just think I love the whole holistic, the living, good food. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm fucking jet lagged. So let's go and get some tea and I will continue this vlog later. Okay, before I leave, we need a fit check. So what am I wearing to go and get tea at this time in the morning? I am wearing APLs, Lululemon leggings. I've got, I think this is a Brandy Melville t-shirt and then my new little Sunspell wooden, wooden, woolen jumper number. Um, so this is the morning, why isn't there a kettle in my room fit check? First day, most of it was in the studio, but uh, we went for lunch at Brentwood Country Mart. I did a little bit of shopping, and as I was filming this haul for TikTok, I was like, I can't neglect YouTube. So do you wanna see what I bought from Brentwood Country Mart? In the short time I was there, I saw Zoe Kravitz and the woman who played Camilla in The Crown. For lunch at Farm Shop, which was amazing, and we walked in and I was like, oh my God, that woman on the table next to us is stunning. Then I went, oh my God, that woman is Zoe fucking Kravitz. I need her surgeon immediately. She is gorgeous. So farm shop was amazing. Food was delicious. And then obviously I looked around the actual farm shop itself afterwards. I picked up a few fun bits and pieces. I got this grain-free matcha granola. It has cacao and mint in it. It was $15, which I don't know. I, you know what, everything's so expensive here. I don't even know if that's a bargain or not. So I'm gonna say it is. I then saw all these like fun little nibbly bars which I thought would be good to take on the plane back with me. These are the most insane things. Why is this one squishy? Uh, this is a latte brownie with collagen. It's gluten free, grain free, dairy free, fair trade and keto. It's the complete opposite of a brownie. Um, then there's this organic superfood bar, banana and nakuma made by a world renowned chef because that's what everybody wants in a superfood bar. And then I got a Figgy Chai peanut butter bar, uh, peanut butter bar, dairy, gluten, soy, and palm free. I just, these are all my favorite things in one. Okay. They also had a little coffee and pastry counter and I picked up a massive snickerdoodle cookie. I've never had a snickerdoodle before, but this is like, that's like the size of my face. So yeah. Then in the country mart, there was a goop. I was so good. I only bought one thing, you proud of me. I got this detox bath soap. I love a bath. I thought these look chic. They were $45, so this better detox everything out of me since birth. 
you know, I've just run out of my Esper bath salts. So let's give these a try. And then in Brentwood Country Mart, there is what they call a post office. And I, I use these because this is not a post office. This is unbelievably chic and whimsical. It's very Wes Anderson inspired. They even sell the accidentally Wes Anderson stickers in there. Um, so what did I do? I bought some merch. I had to buy the stash. I had to buy the Brentwood Country Mart tote so that when I walk around London, people know that I'm better than them. And then I saw something that Henry would like, but also that I would really like, and I think I might keep it for myself. So I like the look of this brand. They're called Harding Lane. It's all quite preppy New Englandy, which is right up my alley. Henry is a car buff, so I saw this really cute cap in there. And it has a little car with a surfboard on it. Also, did I mention that this post office was selling Smithson? How are your post office selling Smithson of Bond Street, London? I did not look at those prices because I dread to think what they were. It's expensive enough in London as it is. Anyway, and then as I was going to pay for my two acquired goods, I have these little key rings. I thought this was so cute. They had one with a dog on and they had one with the cross sticks. Um, I thought the tennis balls were most fitting, but I'm just kind of obsessed. I'm blaming the jet lag still. I think my brain is mush, but I think this was like $30. How is this $30 the same as this $30, the same as this $30? I had two totes behind the till. One was slightly bigger and had different font on. And I was like, oh, how much are your totes? He said, oh, this one's $30, the other one's $150. $150 for a plain tote. In what fucking country? Clearly this one. Um, so I politely declined. And then afterwards I was like, oh my God, I didn't check the prices of the other things, AKA these two things. Luckily everything just happened to be $30. So yeah. Anyway, that was my haul. It's now, I think it's four o'clock. I've been awake for 12 hours. I would like to go out and explore a bit more, but I'm also really struggling to stay alive. So I think I'm gonna sit in the room, do a little bit of work, see if I get a second wind. Otherwise I might just order in and out to the room because I haven't had an in and out in 10 years. And if I leave LA without having an in and out, I'm going to kill someone. You could not deliver through here. It's like a DoorDash. I have to figure out what the service is. Anyway, I'm excited. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on what I do. Wake five hours and we are finally going for breakfast. Also, I just did some work downstairs, obviously, because I've been awake forever, and I thought I'd order a smoothie. You wanna know how much that smoothie was? It was $22. Okay. <laughs> gonna be real with you day two and the morning of day three was so busy I saw multiple friends on day two I think I ran all over LA that day um, and day three I woke up first thing in the morning I had a massage at the spa that you'll see and then again I saw more friends in a very small amount of time before I had to head to the airport so unfortunately there's no vlogs of me talking to the camera at this point but please enjoy this gorgeous montage <laughs> 